Hey there, Chris Birch, Entrepreneur Strategies. I just wanted to jump on today. I uh, just got another email from a wholesaler on a real estate, uh, potential real estate investment in the same neighborhood that I just sold a remodeled house. It's actually about two blocks around the corner from the house that I just did the end of last year. And what I'll do is up here, I'll put a link to that video of myself and my boy Chris Haskins doing a walkthrough on the scope of work that we did and the, the just the sheer involvement that we had to put into this house. It was built in the early 1900s and a lot of you know wood frame homes back in the 1900s, they, they need a lot of work if they weren't cared for. So, but what I wanted to do today is show you a free way that I'm able to uh, prospect a potential real estate deal. Um, let me share my screen here. So I I got this email. Let me go to my email. Got this email. It's a property in District Heights, same neighborhood, 20747, same neighborhood as we just remodeled. Uh, it's on a street, Marion Street. And this wholesaler, <clears throat> excuse me, this wholesaler breaks it down as super clean brick front Cape Cod with three bedrooms, one full bath. Hardwood floors, updated windows, an updated HVAC and water heater. Walk out unfinished basement with room uh, for a fourth bedroom or a or and a second bath. Uh, it's a nice fenced in yard, uh, fenced in yard with a large back deck. Um, they actually put some photos, not that one. They put some photos on here. Um, it, you know. It's not beautiful, but I just, I, I just, I'm trying to justify their number. Um, they're saying here, the buy price for me as an investor, uh, 245,000. Um, they're saying the renovation is 55 to 60. <clears throat> so if you, even if you did, let's do 60. So you're at 305. They're saying the ARV is 375. Um, I'm not quite sure about that. Only because I understand that it, it's been close to a year since we sold um, that property. But if you just look here with the, the condition of it, it's not horrible. Uh, obviously, new siding. Either someone came in and patched with a different shade. So that's going to have to be uh, resolved somehow. Possibly paint it. Um, I don't know how you guys feel about the paint on vinyl siding. I've, I've heard that it lasts for a couple years. Um, I don't know if I'd want to do that in the long term. Uh, hardwood floors, you would obviously need to refinish them, a new front door. Uh, windows are in place, but I can't really see the condition. Um, with this awning on the front, maybe just paint it, maybe remove it. I don't know. Um, then you have these two dormers up on the top here. Probably that's one room up there, maybe two rooms up there. Let's see if the photos. All right, so there, there's one. So that dormer would be sticking out over here to the left, sticking out to the front. Unfinished basement. Don't see anything major. S at some point, there was something here because obviously you see they painted, but then there's then the raw um, foundation block there. So I don't. It could have been a bookshelf or something like that. Who knows? Um, bathroom is sideways, uh, kitchen, lower grade, you know, for Micah countertop, generic sink, probably the cheapest gas stove that you can buy at your local Lowe's or Home Depot. All right. So there's the bathroom. Yeah. Tile, maybe just re grout it and glaze it, um, paint it and glaze it. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. Kitchen <clears throat> counters. So, you know, like missing doors. I can't really tell the condition of these, but potentially, potentially you could just paint them. You know, it's a, you know, if I guess say if you're going to try to flip this property, I, I, I got to see where the numbers are. So. All right. So we're back to the living room. So I pulled up Zillow free and I dropped the address in here and then I marked sold and click done. So we have one here that's sold. It's a four bedroom on the same street, four bedroom, two bath. There we go. I mean, it's sold in 2019, so over a year ago. But like I said, it's it's under three. So let me go back to their email. When they're saying 
375. I'm not sure. Um, but let's see what they did with this one that recently sold. Go through. Oh, it doesn't look like they did anything. They just kind of maybe paint. Well, those are not, I don't think those are new cabinets. They might be. They're, you know, not my choice, but whatever. Um, <clears throat> looks to be like a granite or quartz uh, type countertop. Very generic tile. Mm. I don't love the paint, but who cares? So yeah, this is a very almost an identical footprint of this wholesale deal we're considering. Yeah, I mean it's not horrible. It, you know, very similar style. If you look at the at the uh, front of our prospect house, where was it? Right there. So you got that one at seventy four oh three, and this one. Oops. Oh, 7,400. So <clears throat> literally it's, well, no, it would be across the street. But, you know, not not bad. You know, not bad. Let's see what else we have to kind of help us bring a comp for this. What's this one on Lakehurst? This three, no, that's not a comp. Uh, let's go around. This is going to be a low ball, but no, that is not a comp. I have here Marion. Yeah, that, I would use that as a comp. No, here you go. 2018 sold for 225. So, kind of leaning towards maybe not, maybe not a potential. But I mean, I guess the real training here, guys, is you can get this data for free. You can go to Zillow. I sometimes use Redfin, and I have, you know, I definitely have some more advanced stuff like prop stream um i'll put a link down in the description if you want to check out prop stream um it's a great tool you do pay for it um but you know it, it adds value because you can really see some stuff that uh i'm trying to get zoom into this one that said 325 here we go mm, yeah i mean i guess you could say it's similar it doesn't say how many bedrooms but looking at the square footage is about the same as the one we're prospecting. And yeah, so it sold just a couple months ago for 325. But it's weird that they don't, the only thing they have is a street view. They don't have the listing photos. So I'm not sure. Let's see if they bought it. Oh, okay. There you go. They bought it in September of the same year for 195 likely went in there and painted and freshened up a little bit and sold it for 325. I mean, I don't know what they might have put into it. 50 grand, maybe 40 grand. Um, you could probably get new kitchen and a redone bath and uh refinish the hardwood floors and you know some things so that that's possible. But now look, that's 325 and they're still where are they back? They're still looking for 245 for it, but they're saying the ARV is 375. So let me try to find one more comp. So I would have to probably put an offer in on this property. Let's see. If I I'm gonna lower their their comp is I think it's too high because I'm not seeing <clears throat> I did a project. So here, let me go back to Marion. So here's Marion Street right here. You see where my mouse is? Marion. If you come down Lakehurst to Marlboro Pike, the house that I just did a little over a year ago is right here. Now, this only sold for 275, but we put almost a hundred into this house, right? I think we bought we bought it around 105. Um, I'll put a put a um, link in the in the video here. You can check out the the video of us uh, walking through as we you know renovated this property. But yeah, this this house right here was a horse, man. We took the whole roof off. Uh, let me see if that. Yeah. <clears throat> now we had a two car garage. This house doesn't. We had a driveway. The house we're looking at now doesn't. 
um, we had some serious acreage. We had almost a quarter acre of land. If you can see how big, look how big the backyard was. Like whoever whoever bought this property from us after we renovated it got a, a sweet, sweet deal. Um, it was a three bedroom, two bath, all on one level. It's basically a brand new construction is what we did. So enough about that. But just to give you guys an idea, I do know this neighborhood because I just did a deal there at the end of last year. And I'm trying to see how this comp would make sense. Is there anything else sold? There's another one, a couple blocks over. No, that's not a comp. About the corner one. Mm, no, it's not. So I don't, I don't know where this wholesaler is getting their comp from, uh, or their idea of a comp from, as far as the after repair value. This neighborhood is truthfully, it's under a $300,000 neighborhood and I'm just not seeing it at all. Let me see if, um, let me see. I also use uh, HomeSnap sometimes and HomeSnap gives you a little bit more of a perspective. Sorry, right, so HomeSnap is estimating their value of this house at 264. I understand, I'm not a licensed realtor. I understand that, um, the, a lot of the internet pricing is not accurate. It's usually high. So if it's usually high, then 264 is high, right? Um, so they're saying 264. Rental analysis is like 2200. You know, and I I'd be curious, guys. Um, if if you if you're watching this video, comment down below. Um, if if you're a skilled real estate investor. I mean, it's hard to give you too many too much too many details of this property, but we do know that it is a uh, just over a thousand square feet, thousand square feet, one bed, three bedroom, one bath. Right? I know every state, every town in the country is different, but give me an idea. Comment below. What do you guys think the renovation would be on this? I mean, you can rewind this this video and look at these photos again. Uh, about as detailed as I can give you without seeing the property. Uh, they are requesting on this deal. Um, yep, close. They need to close on January or by January 29th, which is from today is 10 days from now. Today's the 19th. So 10, they need to close in 10 days on this. Um, but, you know, I'm just curious your thoughts. You know, I don't know. I'm not sure if this is something that I would, I definitely wouldn't pursue at 245 because I don't think the 375 after repair value is there. Um, you know, we shall see. I'll actually, you know what? I'll, I'll follow this one because I, I am, I am inquisitive to know what someone pays for it. So I'm going to make a note and, uh, I'll put a link in, in this video. I'll put I'll put a link right now of the follow-up video once this property sells or whatever they do with it. Cause I just want to follow up and see. Cause I'm not seeing how they're they're doing those numbers. But guys, if you enjoyed my content, you know, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up. Don't forget, subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna be posting stuff like this all the time, kind of giving you the perspective of an active investor. I'm a small business owner. Um you know, I, I love the real estate game, working of the deal, finding the deal, fixing the house or wholesaling the house. So, yeah, I mean, follow along, subscribe to my content, um, hit the bell so you get notified uh, when I update new uh, information and post new videos. But until then, I really appreciate it, guys. Talk to you soon.